Bob is an author and sometimes called a stand-up poet, I think. But uh, the stage is yours, so we'll see what happens. Thank, thank, <coughs> thank, thank uh, you and and hello. Hello, internet. Also, hello. I'm nervous. Yes, I'm always nervous, actually. But now I have to be nervous in English, and that's new for me. <laughs> But now you're, you're, you're laughing, and, and it makes me feeling a little better. Love is a big word, a tiny thing, a tiny little thing as you're sitting there laughing, making me feeling a little better. It's so amazing, I think, in this town right now. This princess and prince were getting married, and there's coming on thousands of people from all the world just to watch these two people saying, yes, I love you. <laughs> it's a big thing. Sometimes I have the feeling that someone has stole the love from us and replaced it with an ID. Princes and princesses, they are the loving ones. Hollywood, trumpets, trumpets, and so on. But we all know that the only love that exists is not over there. No, it's here and here. And very often it's a very little thing. What do you do when a little children, a little infant smile to you? What do you do? Well, ordinary people know the answer, but you're like, I don't know. I don't know what I do. Uh, maybe I'm uh, taking a beer, I don't know. Yes, you know, it's a very simple thing. When a little small infant smiles to you, immediately you, of course, smile back, easy like that, like this. And, and the level of love has been, been bigger in you and the infant and in the room. It's easy like that sometimes, but sometimes it's not like easy like that because then maybe it's a grown-up smiling to us. And that's a completely different thing, <laughs> isn't it? Then we don't smile back first. First we have to think and analyze, yes? What is this kind of person? It's not a person, it's a speaker. Okay, here. <laughs> what, what, what kind of person is this? Huh? Is it a friend? Is it a stranger? Is, if it's a stranger, is it a, a handsome stranger? Uh, or drunk stranger? What, what do you want? Do you want to borrow money from me? Do you want to sleep with me? Um, do I want to sleep with you? So many questions. And then maybe we smile. <laughs> or maybe we don't smile. But, but, or we have this half smile, that's a funny thing, because we, we are a little too scared maybe to, to smile in a big way, or maybe, you know, she looks nice, but maybe she's a nausea or something, you never know. So, so you, give this, you give this half smile, you know? Because it's scary to be the one that's giving away too much, we think, you know? It's such a strange thing. You, when you give, a love, you give your love away like this, then it's scary. I think it's scary. I think I can lose something if the other person doesn't smile back little more than I smiled. I will tell you about Dalai Lama. Do you know him? Yeah, he, he's, he's not like us. He's a strange guy. He's a Buddhist leader and, and he has strange clothes and so on. And he never had sex, so it's easy for him to be happy maybe. But, 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 uh, but there was an English journalist following him. Uh, so not as a, as a stalker, but a journalist in his work, yes. And he was following him for a certain of time, and, and, and he saw something terrific, big, nice thing happening every time Dalai Lama said hello to someone. It happened to him. He saw it happen to a, a simple bum on the street, uh, on the other side of the fence, Dalai Lama entering a st stage like this, but much bigger, of course, to having a speech. Hello, hello to this bum on the other side of the fence. And he saw it happen on the face of the bum, this, huh, this relief. And he saw it happen on Bill Clinton, coming with his Mona Lewinsky hands, shaking, <laughs> relief. He saw it on strange leaders with even more strange clothes from strange countries all over the world. This simple hello with Dalai Lama and relief. Even to these people from UN, you know, these diplomats that have a huge amount of money just to not feel a single emotion during work. Even on their faces, relief. So of course he had to and, uh, question 
put the question out for Dalai Lama. What is your trick? What is your trick? And Dalai Lama says the now classical answer, well, Pepsodent. <laughs> no, no, of course not. He says, his, um, his answer is like this. His answer is, well, whoever I meet, whoever I say hello to, I say hello in, in exactly the same way. Whoever I meet, I greet as it should be a very old friend I haven't met for a long time. That was his trick. And what I think Dalai Lama, Dalai Lama is not doing, as I, as I am doing, this scanning off the other people. Who is this? Is these people worth my love? Or the even more important question, how much do these people like me? And I may be, well, he likes me on a five level. And then I put out love on a five level as well. I think, but probably number four, because be on the safe side. Because if I love more, I think I can lose something. I think I can lose. If I give my love away, I think I can lose something. And still I have this longing, I have this longing in whole of my body for love. And where is the love in the world? Where is the love in my life? And I have this longing to give my love away. Oh, I have this big, nice Swedish poet heart just longing to love. The only thing I need is a perfect woman that loves me very much and saying it all the time. Then I will love. Why? Why? And if I'm in a bar and meeting this perfect woman, for 10 minutes perfect woman, or uh, and I get her number, you know, and I have his number in my cell phone, and, and, and I hear my cell phone ringing all the time, but actually just a car driving by or something. Oh no, it's, and, or, or it's, it's ringing and it's, oh no, you know, every number in every person in the world that can phone me are, are just a source of, of, of being miserable because it's not heard. Oh no, no, hello mother, disappointment. Oh no, hello my best friend, disappointment. Oh no, hello my wife, disappointment. <laughs> You know, and then I ask my friends, what to do? What shall I do with this phone number? I have it here, what shall I do? Yeah? An infant can't speak, but an infant had probably tried to, eh! and that should mean, well, why don't you try to use the number and phone her? But my friends are saying, no, you shall not phone her today. You have to wait three days. <laughs> why? I've been longing for this all my life. Why should I wait three days? Well, if you phone her now, maybe she thinks you like her. <laughs> well, that's the thing! We are so afraid of giving away the thing we are longing for. Why? And when I was, was reading about this Dalai Lama thing, I thought, whoa, this is a splendid thing. I want to try it. And I went drunk. No, I, would, no, I did it sober for one day. I think, now I should, every person I say hello to, I I shall say hello as I should, was Dalai Lama. I shall say hello to, to, to uh, this is not very good English, is it? It's good enough. <laughs> as it, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Everyone I should uh, say hello to, I say hello to as if it was a very old friend I haven't met for a long time. Yes, yes, yes. And it was magical, it was so magical. And also some rest for a brain, I didn't have to think, shall I, shall, oh, no. yes, very simple, you know. Green light everywhere, no red light, green light, I'm yes. And then, then, I had, then there was a problem, because then on the subway, a very famous Swedish singer come, yeah, came, and uh, I, sing, I really like his records, and I really like him, but I had the idea that he don't like me so much. This idea I had, and now he was coming on the subway, and I had this, that I have, you know, this is the only way to say hello. So, okay, I... And I've been standing backstage uh, a lot of times. I've been standing with him backstage a lot of times on different festivals. And, and he had a, maybe a new record. And, and I said to him, maybe, well, your new record is quite good. But in real life, of course, I've been listening to it five times every day. And I think it's the most gorgeous album on the earth. Well, it's quite OK. Because I don't want to like him more than he seems to like me. Because then I think I am a loser, you know? But now he was coming, and I all right, hello. And his respond there was, of course, do you like me more than I like you? Then I have to hate you very much. 
And he went away. No, of course not. Simple like this in reality. Hello. And his response was, hello. And it was so obvious what a fool I have been taking away this, this love that are here behind our shyness. We are so much love. And we're using it every day. And we are not a princess, we're not a prince, but we have power in our smile, in our way to say, hello, hello, my dear friend. Thank you. Bob, amazing guy, stand-up poet, right? I bet the other speakers were happy that you were not before them, right?